Hey, good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a good day so far. So what do I got today? I don't even know, honestly. Um, showed up after I left. Um, I guess he gave the keys to Mo. That's one of my customers. I don't see this truck very often. Uh, it's a nice looking truck. It's a Chevy Silverado, but he's complaining of a check engine light, an engine noise, a tapping noise, and tire wear. Let me show you the truck. So here it is. Nice looking truck. It's a Chevy Silverado Black Widow Edition. Uh, it's a factory lift, uh, factory um, flares, and a whole bunch of other stuff. It's a Z71. It's a nice truck. Let's look at the tire. We haven't seen it yet. Yeah, that's some pretty good wear. And that's some really pretty good wear. Oh, okay. That would actually fail inspection. All right. So let's go inside, let's get keys, let's come back out here with a scanner, and uh, let's listen to a noise and find out what we got. All right, so I got my scanner. I got my step stool, I got the keys for the truck. I'm gonna go out there and look at it. Uh, but I'm not gonna start filming just yet because Mo is right up against the truck with the flatbed and it's a diesel and he's winching something, so. There you go. So I'm not going to film just yet. All right, let me get this set up. I just helped him with a couple things real quick. Uh, he moved the trucks, and now let's start this thing up and see what we got. Okay. I like the gauges on this with the Black Widow stuff. It's actually pretty cool. All right, let's start it. Misfire too. He said it was running fine. Just had to check the engine light. See that? The coil wire is hanging out. That's how it's supposed to be sitting. That's how it's sitting. See the other two? It fell out of the coil. But why did it fall out of the coil? This thing's way too tall for me to coil it into. Too old for this. Alright. So there you go. See how it's sitting? I mean, it don't run bad, all things considered. Let me disconnect the coil and put that wire back on. Here's the coil up here on these things. There you go. And it's definitely got a misfire now. But let's inspect the inside here. Everything really looks fine in there. It looks, it appears that it just fell out, but why? This is the second one I've seen, so why are they falling out? Now, granted, all right, they're just locked in place. I felt it. Put the coil back up. Now, me just disconnecting the coil, that'll induce a code. All right, smooth now. Obviously, no tapping. But now I'm really curious, why did that wire come out? All right, what I'm gonna do is, let me hook the scanner up. Uh, where are we? We are right here. All right, let me shut the key, let me shut the engine off. Turn the key on, so it's in the wrong position. And okay, we got that, we got that. Got that. I wonder if it's going to self-populate. Yes, it is. All right, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to do a code scan. Uh, that's a crap vehicle. Let's do a code scan. All right, so while this is going through a code scan, this is going to take a little while. Oh, look at that. Okay. Well, there's a the control circuit for the coil. That's I induced that. There's the misfire. 
cold start rough idle okay since DTC clear I don't even know why current DTC since DTC clear okay well, whatever uh, can I go to the next page lost communication with device on Lin bus hmm I wonder what that's all about all right let me let this go through as you can see the green bar on top that has to get all the way to the end and right now as you see it's only at 33 percent so let me let it go through its thing and then we'll come back to it so let me pause this so there we go it just finished up it's actually the screen is really dirty hold on just wipe it off of my big belly all right so now i'm just really curious i mean these the misfire the coil and a cold start rough idle i know what all of those are i'm not concerned about that but this one i'm kind of concerned about lost communication with device on linbus what that means is the computer the pcm sees everything that is communicating with it like the door modules communicate with it every module in the system communicates with one another so the pcm sees that so it knows like let's just say it knows that it's communicated in the past with the right front door module and now all of a sudden hey the door module is not communicating with me for some reason it won't just outright tell you that you have to look it up and go through the test to figure out which one it is but it's it's going to say hey i'm not communicating with one of the modules and it'll throw a check engine light on. So luckily with my scanner, instead of going through that whole thing with, di the, with the diagnostics, it'll tell me this is the direction to go in. It's still not, it's not the repair, it's the direction to go in. So let me just show you. So right there, since I'm highlighted, if you look just at the top here, it says common replaced parts based on that code. So let's go there. Now, okay, look at that. In red, that's the most common, and which is the radiator shutter assembly. Now, interestingly enough, you have battery and you have spark plug. So could the spark plug have caused it? This one kind of concerns me though, the radiator shutter assembly. What is that? That is actually what it says. It's a shutter that goes in front of the radiator. And the reason for it is it closes to help aerodynamics. How much it actually helps, who knows? But the computer needs to see that. Now, why is it setting that code? The only time I've ever seen a failure with a shutter assembly is when a vehicle's been in an accident. Has this been an accident? I don't know. Maybe. Um, like I said, I do work. I have worked on this truck in the past. I don't work on it very often, but I do work on it every once in a while. I see the tire wear, which is kind of concerning. Why does it have tire wear? Was it in a front end collision? Let's let's take a look and see what we can see. So now these bolts look like they were disturbed. See that witness mark there, the little bit of rust? Yeah, the hood's been off of it. Come to this side. Yeah, you can see this thing's, yeah, somebody's been in here and done something. What they've done, I don't know. Yeah, you can see the witness marks on the hood there. So obviously something has happened. Also, I noticed that. I didn't jump start this thing. Somebody had to jumpstart this at some point. So why? Hmm. Why, why, why? So I'm going to have to look at this thing because now I'm really, was this thing in an accident? All right. Well, the interesting part with this is the ticking, <laughs> again, was just a coil wire. Did they do something and they had the coil wires off or something? I, I don't know. I really don't know. So I'm going to have to investigate this. Um, not that it's going to affect anything anymore, especially with that, because now I know what the ticking noise actually was. It was no big deal. So I'm sure I'm going to see more of these. I, I got comments on the, on the other video that other people, when they saw the video, they went and checked theirs and sure enough, their coil wire or the wire from the coil to the plug fell off at the coil. And that's what was making the noise. The other truck that I had had no misfire. It was in such a perfect spot and held up there. It never misfired. This one actually did have a misfire. It's funny because he actually didn't tell me it was running rough. He just said he had a check engine. Line. Or maybe he did. No. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, that's it. I hope you get something out of my videos. There, That was a simple repair. Um, but now, like I said, I'm just going to put it on a lift, see if I see anything obvious. If I don't, I'm just going to tell him he's going to have to bring it to a shop uh, that does alignments and stuff. I don't do that here. So, All right, guys. Hope you got something out of my video. If you did, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. Have a great day and keep wrenching.